or dud, deal or dud, deal or dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. This is the live where I show you how something caught my eye and it made me click by now. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really whack. Most times I keep it, but sometimes I gotta send it back. Maybe it's just too big, maybe it's just too small. Sometimes it doesn't do what I thought it would at all. Sometimes it's just okay, I mean I'm not in love. Which is why I welcome you to watch Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. This is the live where I show you how something caught my eye and it made me click by now. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really whack. Most times I keep it, but sometimes I gotta send it back. Maybe it's just too big, maybe it's just too small. Sometimes it doesn't do what I thought it would at all. It's just okay. I mean, I'm not impressed. Maybe you didn't even pass my sleep test. And let me say this too. Sometimes don't take too long. You try to get the deal and the deal's already gone. Welcome to deal or dud, deal or dud, deal or dud. Welcome to deal or dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to deal or dud, deal or dud, deal or dud. Welcome to or good with me, Kimberly. Now with your order, I would hope that you were pleased, but if you're not, y'all, please don't contact me. Here's the thing that you really, really need to do. Just contact Amazon and let them take care of you. Because they take returns, they'll give you back your money. You're telling me when I can't do a thing for you, honey, because I don't work for them and they don't work for me. And taking care of you is their responsibility because I'm like you. I'm a customer too and I use the same deals and promo codes that you do. And I don't make the codes so I don't take requests. And you should read reviews because that's what's going to serve you best. I don't control the prices or the shipping time. I try to make sure everything that I post is prime. And let me say this too. I hope I'm being really clear. I do appreciate the fact that you are even here because there's so many lives where you could choose to be. And so I'm grateful that you choose to be here with me and just one more thing I got a lot to show but before I do please share and follow 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 deal or Welcome to this edition of Deal or Dud, the Tuesday night edition, the after Bible study edition. Thank y'all for popping in. Can y'all just put in the chat a wave or a hi or something? I see 248 people. Can I get 248 people to say hello to me tonight, please? I've been by myself all day long. Please, please just say hi, hello, good evening, where you're from, you know, pop in your area code if you or comfortable with that or you know just something just something to let me know you out there and you and you like the intro Deal or no. hey 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 new york hey new york hey, hey new york hey, hey. hey i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it hey Deal or no. be adding on the uh, 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 on the end okay one person from new york thank you uh tn thank you for popping that in for me hello good evening i am glad you're watching and 260 other people we're gonna go ahead and get right into the show tonight because it is kind of late but since you up 
you might as well just go ahead and watch this show. Now, if you watch the show before, you know I like to start the, the evening, the show, showing you what I have on for the show. And there is Invisible Boo Jank. See how hey, he's standing? Boo he's standing right there between hey. the curtains, you know, always ready and willing and able to take me out on a date according to what I have on, which you get to choose. So just please pop in the comments, according to what I have on, where might we be going tonight? on our invisible day, on our pretend date with invisible boo jack right there see him he's six let me see how tall is he i'm gonna make him six four mm -hmm. he's six wait a minute let me okay there he go that's the top of his head right there like at the tip of my finger that's how tall he is and he's very handsome don't y'all see that he very handsome we look really good together send us on a date of your choice where might i be going with this outfit let me get my uh, uh, uh music so i can show the people what i got on okay here we go y'all music <laughs> The shoes make it work. You see the shoes and the lips match. And I forgot to put the lips in the, in the carousel tonight. But let me tell you about the outfit, starting with the blouse. Now, this blouse is the Ace, Ace of Og, a Sevog. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, blouse. As you can see, I have on the polka dot one. It does come in 15 different color variations. It features a tie at the neck. I done danced my little tie off. It's my tie out. Let me stand back a little bit so y'all can see my head. Okay, so it features a tie right here at the neck. It is very light. So it's thin in the arms. Let me bring them up close to you. You can't really, well, maybe you can see a little bit where my arm stops and the material hangs. It has button detailing in the cuffs. This part is thin and the back is thin. The front, however, has a double layer to give you extra coverage up front. If for people like myself who like to be a little bit more modest instead of you know everything being so sheer, I do really like this blouse. Right now, there is a five percent coupon for this blouse, or is it ten? It's five or ten, but there's also a twenty-five percent promo code on this to take twenty-five additional percent off so if you love this blouse i do love it i have it in two colors i have the black with the white dots and i also have the white with the black dots it is a um of course you can tuck it in or you can let it stay out of your pants like i'm sporting it tonight for a very casual look again it's thin so we know that summer is coming up you could wear this on a on a summer night and not catch on fire 
probably. I mean, not too, too hot. But, you know, it's, it's a thin shirt. It's a thin blouse. It looks nice under a suit jacket. I should have brought one down here to just put it on, but I wasn't thinking. Forgive me. Forgive me. It's kind of late. Um, but it fits. It will fit nicely under a suit jacket. It's not thick that it's going to bungle up and be bunchy in your arms and all of that. And with that 25% promo code, you can get grab more than one. Like I said, I have two of them. Why didn't I think to bring the white one down? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. It's after 9 o'clock. Please forgive me. Y'all forgive me. Do you forgive me? Please. Next time I'll think of it. Okay. So, great colors. Great price. Double double coupon. Can you click on it and see if, how much the coupon is? I know there's 5% 5 off and then another 25% off. It makes it less than $20. Okay, so check that out. Grab the color or the colors that you want. The polka dots were my favorite. Thank you, Rosanna, for the follow. Thank you, Rosanna. The pants I am wearing tonight are the, can we go to the pants? Somebody they, says, do you think it would work for some that is long-waisted? Um, well, judging on me, I think I'm pretty average build. Uh, average built. I think my build is average. And so I'm not sure how to judge that because um, I don't think that I'm long-waisted. But you see that it comes here to me, like um, a little bit past the top of my thighs and here in the back. This is where it comes to me in the back. So I'm not sure if you're long waisted, but that I, I don't even I don't have a frame of reference to give you a, a answer on that. I think it fits me well. I wear about a size 12, 11 and a half, 12. I'm working on it. I'm 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 working on it. So on average, I wear about a size 12, and I think that it fits me well. I don't have on a watch tonight, but you see that it does pass my sleeve test. I do have long arms. My watch would normally sit about right here, and it is long enough to at least meet my watch, maybe cover it up a little bit if I tug it just a tiny bit, but it's not all the way up here like it would normally, like sometimes shirts fit me, okay? So I am satisfied with the sleeve length. When I hang my arms, it hangs right on top of my hand like a blouse should. I think it's a great length in the front as well as the back. It is nice and light. Oh, it does have a double layer also in the back. So here's the, the double layer right underneath. So if modesty is your thing, you do have this extra layer on the bodice part, on your torso to help keep you covered up, okay? And the sleeves, there's no double layer. So I do like the top. I do really like it. I like the blouse. The pants are the faux leather in the front and the knit in the back to give you a, you know, evening, casual evening look. As you see, they fit me. They are fitted to my body. They are easy to put on. I didn't have to do the woman wiggle. This is what the woman wiggle look like. If you're not familiar, if you're not familiar with the woman wiggle, it looked like that. I, didn't have, I don't have to do the woman wiggle with these pants. It does have an elastic waistband. And so very easy to get into. No snaps, no buttons, no zippers. They fit very nicely. They do show your curves, but not like the super leggings that I'm getting ready to show you. Okay, it has appropriate length for me, standing at about 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven and a half, somewhere in there. The length is appropriate, and they look nice with the heel. Of course, it could look nice with the flat, as well, I do have some white flats that I probably could rock this with. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, this is a deal for me. The shoe, let me tell you about the shoe. It is a peep toe pump, ankle wrap pump. You see the little strap around my ankle. On the last show, I had my foot up on the table, but I think we got a good um, shot of the shoe tonight. <clears throat> Looking at the camera over here, I don't have my glasses on, but I think you can see the shoe. Mm -hmm. It has the wrap ankle. A chunky heel and a peak toe. Um, this is a size nine and a half for me. It is super comfortable. Like I would not hesitate. Sometimes y'all like to send me an invisible boojank dancing. I could do a little two-step in these. Give me some two-step music. Now sometimes the shoes I have on, I do like them, but I have to take them off. Like, I have to take them off real quick. Me and Miss Boo J can get down with this. Hey. I like these shoes. They're super comfortable. Okay. Um, they feel like they have a little bit of grip on the bottom. I didn't really look at the bottom of them. Let me 
can't check them out. Dang, she, what, what? I can't even enjoy my music tonight. My executive producer is all on me. I guess she don't want me to be dancing and stuff. Well, I guess that's part of it. Okay, so I do like the shoe. It is super comfortable to be a heel. Um, I would go out in these. I would do a little bit of walking. I'm not. I'm not gonna walk the city center. I'm not gonna walk the park. Thank you, Life with Cam. Thank you for the follow. The yellow one is really pretty. Um, I chose the red. Might go back and get the yellow. This is the sole of it. This got the shimmy shingles from the shirt I showed y'all the other night. So it does have a little bit of grip on the bottom. The shoes are a deal for me. I'm very, very pleased with the shoe purchase. The shoe comes in a variety of colors. It has, let's see, 80 reviews totaling four stars. So make sure that you check out the reviews if you need, excuse me, if you need a little help with the you know, what people are saying about the sizing. I think the sizing is a good fit, okay? I'm liking it. They, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Thank you, uh, Life with Cam. As you can see, I like I like to dance. Just got to have the right shoes on. I can't just jump up in any old shoe and get to, get to two-stepping and all that. But these, these are good for it. You can do a little... Don't, don't, don't. Um, talking about the pants, as you can see, the pants that I have on, they have 36 reviews coming in at four and a half stars. And then this blouse, over 1,100 reviews, okay? Normally the price is $27.99 at the time of this recording. But remember that the blouse has a 5% coupon and a 25% off promo code. Just click on the listing, redeem that code, put it in your, in your checkout and grab. You can redeem it right now on the live. Just click the button or you can go to the listing and redeem it there, okay? But it is a, this is a deal for me. This is a deal for me. All right, moving on to my next thing. Y'all, let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. Let me show you. Let me show you. I was excited to show y'all this. I did get this wine opener set. It has five reviews right now, five stars. The price when I received it, when I got it, it was really, really, really good price. There was a promo code, but the promo code is now expired, so I can't share it with you. But at the time of this recording, it's $18.99. It's normally $19.99, so you do get a little bit of a savings. Now, this is an air pump wine opener set. It has an air pump wine opener, a few pumps to safely pop the cork of a new bottle of wine. It has a wine aerator and pourer, fast aeration and pour wine smoothly without splash or drop and drops. It has a vacuum stopper, preserve the wine flavor of open bottles, and it has a foil cover. Remove the foil seal easily and neatly. So this is what happened today. I'm going to open it up. So I knew I was going to be showing you this product today, right? And so I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to show the product, I need a bottle of wine to show the wine. And so I went to um, the store. I, the store shall be unnamed. But, you know, I just went to the store. And my favorite wine, I don't really drink a lot, like, at all. A, a bottle of wine might last me about three months, and then it's time to throw it in trash, really. Um... But I was like, okay, my favorite wine is Moscato di Asti in that blue bottle with the silver shimmy shingas on it. That's my favorite wine. It's, to me, it's crisp and it's sweet. I don't like a dry wine. I don't like them. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like. For, I need for my wine to taste like Kool-Aid. I mean, I might as well just get a flavored beverage, really, because that's the flavor I'm looking for. So I got the, they didn't have my favorite wine. So I got a bottle of Stella Rosa and I was like, okay, I'll just get this Stella Rosa black. I understand that that's really good. I think I've tried it once before. And so I said, okay, well, let me get this. Then I bought the wine and realized that it had a twist top. I was not paying attention. I was distracted in the store. So when I got home and I realized that it had a twist top, I was like, okay, no problem. No worries. Let me just go to the store. Yes, that's Stella Rose Black. Somebody had made the recommendation to me. I did try it and I think I enjoyed it. 
I had a, a few Stella roses that night, but I think the black was, was really good. So then I was like, okay, I had to go back to the grocery store and pick up some water and everything. So while I was there, I was like, oh, let me get the bottle of blue Moscato Diosti so I could open it up for the show. So I get to the wine part and I see the blue um, Moscato Diosti, I see the red Moscato Diosti, and I see the pink Moscato Diosti. Now, I, st <clears throat> I started reading the labels. Thank you, Amazon customer. I started reading the labels of these wines because, you know, I'm concerned about sodium and sugar and, you know, all of this stuff instead of being focused on my show. And then I saw that this bottle of Riscata, pink Moscato, um, this is not even the Dios. Well, the blue one is Diosti. I saw this and I was like, oh, let me look at the label. Oh, okay, this one of the three, it has the less, least amount of calories. It has the least amount of sodium. It has the least amount of carbs So and the least amount of sugar. So I'll just take this one. Then I got it home. Look at the top. Look at that. Look at that. Why y'all ain't... Y'all know I'd be depending on y'all to keep me focused. Why didn't y'all tell me, look at the top. This don't have a cork top. This has a twist top. This got a I can't even show you. I just had to pour myself a little bit of wine to calm down, to calm down from that. I had to pour myself a little bit of wine right there to calm down. How I, how I buy two bottles of wine and both of them have a twist top and I can't show the little, the, the thing. How are you supposed to do it? I, I'm going to have to bring this back for y'all. Once I go to the store and I get what I'm supposed to get. Y'all don't let me do that no more. I don't know how y'all let me do that. How y'all let me go to the store twice? Now once, okay, I forgive you. I forgive you for letting me get it wrong once. But how y'all let me do it two times in one day? I think this is a little aerator pourer thing. I don't even know what this is for. I'm not really not a wine connoisseur. I just be trying to be bougie. You know, when people come over here, it look like I kind of got my life together. If I have um, barefoot has a cork, the blue, <coughs> excuse me, the blue Moscato Diosti has a cork. And that's my favorite. But here I go being distracted in the store by the bananas and stuff because they have the wine by the produce. Why well, they got it right there? I'm being distracted and then start looking at labels. Don't y'all let me do that no more. I'm holding y'all accountable. So, you know, I be trying to be bougie. I see it got a, a on and a off, a on and a off thing right there. What you supposed to do with that? I'm gonna have to do some studying or, or something. Do y'all know? Put it in the comments. What am I supposed to do with the on and off switch? That's to open it up to pour it and turn it to, to close it. And what does an aerator do? It take the air out or put air in? What does it do? I don't know. I need some wine classes. I'm trying to be bougie and don't know what you're doing. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't that sad? All right. Here's the other piece to it. Y'all see the pieces come wrapped in plastic. This is the... This looks like the stopper. This looks like the stopper. I have some wine stoppers there. Prettier. But this is the wine stopper that comes with this set. This piece up here is plastic. All of this is plastic and this is rubber, of course. Put it in there. And then this is the foil cutter. I can't even cut the foil for y'all on the camera. Next time, I, I don't even feel like going back and getting no more wine. It's going to be too much wine in the house for me to drink. Unless Invisible Booja ain't going to drink some with me. And y'all know if he drink wine, he got to go. He got... Uh, if if he start going the refrigerator and stuff start disappearing and wine start long he gotta go he not gonna be invisible blue jank anymore this is the wine cut the foil cutter right here so i can't even test it out like i intended to but i'm gonna bring it back on the thursday show i'm gonna go and get the the type of wine that i like the blue moscato diosti and we're going to bring this back and I'm going to use this. Now, if you know how to use all four of these pieces, then, you know, right now at the time of this recording is $18.99 instead of $19.99. You might want to go ahead and grab it or something similar to it. There might be some that are um, less expensive if, if that's, you know, if you, if that's your, if that's your thing. I didn't pay $18.99. I had a promo code that made it significantly less but the promo code is gone. Sometimes y'all take too long. You go to get the deal and the deal be gone. All right, moving on to my next item, y'all. 
look at these pants I got these are some leggings I wanted some red burgundy kind of legging colored leggings and so I found this particular pair for $13.99 it has over 18,000 reviews coming in at four and a half stars so I would have put the leggings on for y'all however however this is the size large let me stand up so y'all can see it this is the size large i did try them on and they have plenty of length for me but honey when i tell you these things right here fit they fit they are like on you on okay they now let me say this this is a size large this is from legging depot 92 percent polyester eight percent spandex honey they have plenty of stretch they have plenty of stretch okay the material this is the inside of the material kind of i don't know what it what it puts me in the mind of it kind of puts me in a really tight bathing suit fabric. But this faux leather right here, y'all, it, it, it put me in the mind of a latex balloon. A thick, really thick latex balloon. This is a stretch at the ankle. So you see it has plenty of stretch in it. Honey, I put these on. I put these on right here. Thank you, Wendy, for the follow. I put these on right here and... I gotta put I I gotta wear a long shirt with this. Y'all y'all know the 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 TikTok leggings how they it kind of do that but not so much. These fit. I like them. I do like them because now I wish I would have got a size extra large because they were a little bit of a challenge for me to pull them up. I got you know a little bit of nail length right, and so as you holding pants, I didn't want my thumb to to puncture them and i don't know how um sturdy they really are but i didn't want to poke a hole in them it it feels like a, a thick latex balloon on the outside they felt really really good on they held me really really well i just was um challenged with pulling them up all the way now i think an extra large would fit me better an extra large would fit me better might have to send these back and trade them in for the extra large so I can have a little bit more comfort. So I would say size up on this one. 18,000 reviews coming in at four and a half stars. They do feel really good. They feel funny now. They don't feel like no leather. Feel like you can, you know, put them, put it like that and blow them up a little bit thicker. It puts me in the mind of a latex balloon. Now, if you grab these leggings, you can get a coupon for 5% off of five pair of black leggings from Legging Depot. Now, the black leggings are normally $59.99, but at the time of this recording, they're $29.99 for the five pair. So that's like $6.00 a pair now those particular leggings there's over 2,000 reviews coming in at four and a half stars and then there's a five percent coupon so not only are they 50 percent off the regular price they are also an additional five percent coupon if you click the coupon and you grab these leggings so you can really get both of them at a really good price these are only 13.99 with the 18 plus thousand reviews 18,000 plus reviews and then the five pair of the black you'll see it on the listing um, where you can get these particular leggings for the five percent off get them together and you know save your coins save your coins okay so that's that I want to call these a deal but I need to up up the size a little bit I need to up the size okay now y'all let me show you these super cute leggings these are the punk rave women's vintage leggings i thought that they were so 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 cute that's what drew me in all right so let me show you the detailing now these are these are thin these are thin let me read the material first because the material feels kind of funny they are 95 percent polyester and five percent spandex these were 92 and eight 
these are 95 and 5. So this has a little bit less stretch, but it is stretchy. They have this paisley pattern. You can barely see it. You got to yeah, catch it in the light. It has a paisley pattern all over it. Down the side, y'all, look at this detailing right there. This, um, I don't know what to call that. I don't know what to call it. Y'all tell me, what is, what is this called? I don't know what it's called, but it's down the side of the legging. <clears throat> this was the part that drew me into this leg. I did try these on. Um, let me finish talking about it first. This part right here is what drew me in. So this comes about, when I put these on today, they came about right here. Let me back up a little bit more. They came about right here before that netting part that I just had in the camera started. So about right there, about mid thigh. Then they hit you with this netting with that embroidery on it. So, 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 so cute. Like this is why I bought these, right? And then all the way down the front, it has that lace, the lace up with the tie on the bottom. And so I really like them. However, they run really small. Again, I wear 11 and a half because I don't want to be a 12 anymore. I don't want to be a 12. I wear 11 and a half. Don't judge me. I wear 11 and a half. Okay? Put it in the comments. 11 and a half. But this is a size 2 XL. And they were tight. Not only are they tight, they were thin. And so while they have the stretch, as you can see, I'm stretching it. I was afraid that, again, I might tear the material. Now, it seems like it's, it's pretty sturdy as I'm stretching it on the camera for you. But I think both of these pants required the woman wiggle. And not just the woman wiggle right here at the waist. I'm talking about the woman wiggle down here. The woman wiggle right there, the woman wiggle right there, the woman wiggle right here, up to the waist. They were super cute on. They were super cute on. Now, y'all know I have the sleeve test for my blouses. I have to incorporate a new kind of test for the pants called the slide test. That means when I sit down, do they slide down my backside? These did, but they are, I, I need an upsize. 2XL is the largest size that they come in. So I can't even send them back and get a 3XL. I would have to either keep them and wait for, you know, a few pounds to fall off, which is not the impossible dream, is it? I'm hoping not because I'll be going to the garage every day. Looking for, I'm looking for my goalie gummies right now. You know, I'm working on my fitness, cutting out some things out of my diet. I like these pants. Like... This detailing right here, that does it for me. Look at that embroidery. Look at that detailing, y'all. Look at it. Y'all see it. Y'all, let me show it again. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah, I'm working on that 75 hard, and it's, it's not moving quick enough for me. It's not working quick enough. Now, all of this, there was no, um, they're stretch, they were stretchy enough to fit around my leg. Like, I didn't feel like the string was going to pop. I was able to adjust the string. I needed a little bit more width right here, and my this is where my knee was, right here my knee, and I was able to do all of that. However, they're just a little bit a little bit too tight like this, this little bit, not this little bit. They were a little bit too tight for me or a little bit too small. So I like these well enough to keep them and, and hold on for the end of my 75 hard challenge because I'm working out twice a day and all of that. I think they're super cute. If you like them, I would tell you to size up, up. All right, size up, up on these because they do run very small, okay? I'm on the fence, I like them. Put them on with a black, black I got a black mesh shirt. <sighs> Put on a black cami under that black mesh shirt with this mesh right here. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. Can you imagine the possibilities? All right, so uh, these, these are dang, I'm feeling like dang. 
right now and it's the sizing and it's my own size a combination of them but i do like them i do think they're cute again the material feels mm, i don't know how to describe the feel of the material it's definitely not a leather it doesn't feel leather doesn't feel leather like doesn't feel like a latex balloon i don't know how to describe the feel of it I don't know. They feel a little bit strange in my hands, but they look great. And I was able to get them on today. I just want them to fit fit a little bit looser on me. So I'm going to call them a dang. I'm not going to send them back. I am going to upsize on these and get me an extra large. I do like the color. I do like um, ultimately how they fit on me. Okay. From the waist to the ankle. They there. All right, so I think this is my last. I, oh, no, I've got two more things to show you. Now, I did pick these up. This is the two-pack wall surge protector. I haven't opened them up today, but I feel like I always have a bunch of stuff to plug in and not enough outlets where I want to plug stuff at. Like in the kitchen, you got the Instapot. Not you, me. I have the Instapot. I got the Crock-Pot. I got the juicer. I got the hand air fryer, the hand um, hand blender, all these waffle things, maker. the waffle maker. And not, uh, not that all these things sit on the counter, but a couple of them do. And I don't want to be unplugging stuff. So this was a set of two. I'm trying not to break my fingernails, y'all. Ella Reese is going to open it up for me. As you can see in the in the carousel, one has the three outlets on it. The other one has six outlets on it, and they both have, um, thank you very much, charging ports. So you can plug in your devices and all of that. I feel like I need this in my life. It's five and a half, I mean, uh, 993 reviews coming in at four and a half stars. It is one beat, so you plug it in, boom right there and it even allows you it has a screw in the middle so you can actually replace your your outlet cover with this take the cover off put this in there this this piece goes in that top um, outlet and this of course goes in the bottom and then you can screw in the that part right there so it becomes your wall plate it is a surge protector right here in the center so you don't have to worry about you know whatever happens when you don't have a surge protector this one features the six ports with two I mean the six outlets with two ports and then the smaller one features the three outlets with the two ports so maybe this could go beside your bed where you have your lamp and then you have to plug in your phone and you have to plug in your tablet and your alarm clock or whatever else i just feel like i don't have enough of enough outlets in my home so this was definitely a deal for me right now it's eight percent off the regular price coming in at 22.99 i just got to be doing stuff <laughs> just got to be doing stuff that's how children act they take stuff that don't go together and just put it together anyway out of curiosity we all got a child living in us somewhere i hope all right then when we break it then we feel some type of way this one also has the surge protector button as well so this is a deal for me i'm glad that i've, I've got these okay the usb total is 2.4 a I don't know what that means, but if you know what that kind of thing means, there you go. 2.4A. I'm going to plug this somewhere probably over in that outlet because I got a lot of stuff at this desk. Yeah, go ahead and plug that in over there. And um, yeah, oh, don't do it right now because then you're going to unplug the computer. Mm -hmm. We'll do it later. All right, now, the last thing that I want to show, if you watched my last live, my brother was back here playing the saxophone, and I was trying to, I was struggling trying to get this Yida Home shoebox thing put together, and I couldn't do it on the camera. It took me coming off the camera where I could concentrate a little more and figure it out a little more, and it is super easy to put together. So I already put together a couple of them. Um, for you so the shoe box ultimately looks like this this is a size of 18 okay so it has a little door on the front so you can put your shoes in there as you can see it is not very tall let me grab my miss america shoes my miss america pumps if you remember those so if you're going to do a heel you would need to lay it in there lay it in the shoe box like that 
to fit your pumps in there. Then of course, if you have a flat shoe or a loafer or what have you, it will easily fit in there and you're able to put it in there. Hold this for me, please. Just hold it right here. If I can get Ella to just hold it right there. Hold on the bottom. Now on each of the boxes, it has these little holes or grooves and these uh, protrusions so that they are able to stack together just like that okay there's 18 in a set now they don't stack or hold on the sides but if you want to stack them all up they stack together so this is how they fit together <clears throat> The actual box part comes flattened like this and you square it up square it up and as you can see this is plastic it's like a, a mm, what would I call this it's almost like a heavy-duty folder or a um, can you hand me that black is that black folder thing over there yes no. That's a box. I think it's on that second shelf. Okay, so you square it up like that. The material puts me in the mind frame of like the plastic used for one of these. So if you're familiar with this kind of kind of thing, the plastic feels just like this. Okay. All right. They love the, uh, mirror jewelry cabinet. Oh, thank you so much. That is in the carousel. If you want to grab that mirror jewelry cabinet. Um, it is in the carousel, okay? So it has that, and then it has these little holes. You poke these little holes out here. Poke them out, poke them out, poke them out, poke them out. Once you have squared it up, this is the back side of it. You just kind of, it's hard for me to, to do it on the camera. Let me see if I, if I tilt it down. Oh, this is good right here so you you just kind of snap it on top like 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 i need a tabletop now i did this twice there it goes snap it on that side and snap it on this side like that that's the bottom on again on this side you poke the holes out you fold the tabs in and then this is the door. You take the door and you do the same thing. Just kind of snap it. You fit it around on this side. See that little groove around there? You fit the, the plastic into that groove around the frame. Un momento, un momento. I ain't said un momento, por favor, all show. I know we can't have a show without me saying that. There, go to one snap. And on this side, there's the second snap. And there you have your box. Again, it has the little nubs on this bottom, on the bottom side. So you're able to stack it against the other ones. It's a set of 18. So it's 14 reviews right now at the time of this recording, coming in at four and a half stars. And there you go. So as you can imagine, it's sturdy enough, it's sturdy enough, right? I mean, this is not a super shoe box. It's not made, built like a safe, but it will hold your shoes. Again, if you're doing heels, just lay them down. If you're doing flats, they're good. I think it holds up to a, a man's size 10. So if you have a, a foot the size of Shaquille O'Neal, this won't be the product for you, okay? So that is that. And that is all the products that I have for you tonight. I am going to come back on with the wine, um, the wine thing and see how that actually worked with the bottle with the cork. Thank you for your wine recommendations. I saw a couple of them. I'll go back and um, take a look at them to make sure that the next time I don't get so distracted while I'm in the store, I'm gonna get that blue Moscato Diosti, or I'm gonna get that Barefoot, and some, I think somebody said Tom Hardy, was it? Ron B. Oh, legendary Ron B. I've never heard of that, whatever they make sweet. Please tell me what they make that's sweet, 
because I don't want to just be buying wine for just buying wine purposes. Thank you, reviewer, for following. But that is our show tonight. The items that you see in the background, they are in the carousel. I think I forgot the lift top table tonight. But the Laferni um, jewelry cabinet, I have shown it on the show before, a full length mirror. It is adjustable. You can adjust the tilt and you can, excuse me, keep your jewelry inside. You see that it has 899 reviews, totaling four and a half stars. I love that product right there. I kind of keep it in the studio as I am getting dressed. Thank you, Dawn, also. As I'm getting dressed and getting ready to show y'all items, it's very handy. I don't have to run upstairs and, and look at my mirror up there. I can just kind of look right there and get myself together, pick me some jewelry. And y'all know those diamond earrings that I bought myself for Christmas. Well, I don't know where they at. The ones that I said, I'm, I'm not going to be taking these off all the time because I lose things. Well, I, I got on some, some little pearl earrings right now. Don't know where the diamonds are. Why y'all let me do that? Didn't I tell y'all? Anyway, I appreciate I'm going to forgive y'all because I want y'all to come back on the next deal or dud. When is the next deal or dud? On Thursday? Thursday. All right. On the next deal or dud on Thursday, I'm going to bring the wine thing back. I'll have some other things to show you. We're going to make Sunday our Sunday show, the entertainment show. So I already got some singers lined up. Thank you, Don. I already got some singers or a singer or two lined up for our Sunday deal or dud. I think she actually, I think one person's coming on Thursday. So you don't want to miss the Thursday evening show. She going to come in here and sing y'all some songs while I change my clothes. Go ahead and get your whatever you like to drink and try your wine open a thing and sit back and watch the show and get the entertainment as well i appreciate you watching commenting laughing enjoying the show um and i will see y'all on the next episode of deal or done deal or done deal or done i appreciate you watching and good night good night good night good night I'm going to drink this little Moscato and I'm going to say good night. All right. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you so much for watching.